In this video, we're going to go through the normal distribution for GCSE statistics. Now, in GCSE statistics, you need to know that when you are one standard deviation below the mean or above the mean, that's 68%. When you are two standard deviations below or above the mean, that's going to be 95%. And when you are three standard deviations, either below the mean or above the mean, that's going to be around 99.8%. Now, a bit of notation here, mu represents the mean and sigma represents the standard deviation. Now, this diagram will be very useful for you in terms of your revision for when you're answering normal distribution questions. So let's take an example of what this looks like. Okay, so we've got a table here with the French and German scores, the mean score and the standard deviation. And it says on the grid, sketch a diagram of each distribution of the scores, label each diagram. So what we're going to do is say that the ends, the end tails of the normal distribution is always going to be mu minus three sigma and mu plus three sigma. So if we start off with French, we could say that for French, we want mu minus three sigma, in our case, 78 minus three times two, that's going to be 78 minus six, which is going to be 72. Now for mu plus three sigma, that's going to be 78 plus, three times two, and that's going to be 78 plus six, which is 84. Now for German, we need the same thing. Mu minus three sigma, which is 85 minus three times 2.5, which is going to be 85 minus 7.5 so we can work that out that's going to be 85 minus 7.5 which is 77.5 then for mu plus 3 sigma 85 plus 7.5 That's going to be 92.5. Don't forget the 7.5 came from doing three times 2.5. So now we need to figure out how we're going to draw this normal diagram. So what we can do is say, well, according to the table, the mean for the French score is 78 and the standard deviation is 2 and German has a mean of 85 and a standard deviation of 2.5 now because French has a smaller standard deviation it means the data is more accurate it's closer to the mean so it means the normal curve will be taller and narrower than in comparison to the German normal distribution which is wider because it has a larger standard deviation so when we draw this, we can say, well, for French, which I'm going to do in red, has a mean of 78. Now notice this goes up in one, so 71, 72, 73, 74, 75. So if I'm going to 78, which is here, okay? Now, because French is taller, I'm just going to mark 78 here, and then try and draw a big dot like this for it, okay? Then the lower tail we know is 72. So I'm going to mark that here, which is 72. And then the upper tail is 84, which is here, 84. So then my normal curve will look like this for French. And because it's a normal distribution, it should tail off like this to negative infinity and positive infinity. 
So that's for French. So French is done. Then I'm going to do German now. Well, we know that the mean for German is 85. So let's mark 85 here. And then remember, because the standard deviation is larger, it means it needs to be a more wider curve. So because the standard deviation is larger, so the height for French must be taller. So we can say that the lower tail for German is 77.5. So here we've got to be a bit careful. Well, this is going to be 77. This is 78. So it's going to be in the middle here. So I'm going to mark it here. So it's in the middle. And then we've got 92.5. What's 92? So 92.5 is here. So we can draw in our normal curve like this. And again, tails off to minus infinity and positive infinity. We can label that as German. And that's my sketch of the normal diagrams. Very important to remember to use mu minus three sigma and mu plus three sigma. So let's take the next part. Use the information in the table to make two comparisons between the scores in the French test and the scores in the German test. Interpret your comparisons in context for three marks. So if we go back to our table, what can we see? So on average, the mean for the German score was higher than the French score. So, and also the standard deviation in German was greater than the standard deviation for French. So we can conclude the following. So we can say that German had greater test scores than French, greater test scores than French because or since the mean for German, the mean for German is greater than the mean of French is greater than the mean for French for French and the German scores the German scores are more spread out are more spread out than those of French than those of French since German has a greater standard deviation. So we need to state all of that to gain all three marks for this comparison in context. So let's take the next case. One student who took the French test is selected at random. Work out an estimate for the probability that this student scored more than 76 on the French test. So here we can use the formula that the standardized score is the value minus the mean over the standard deviation. Now, in our case, the student got 76. Now, it's a French test, so we know, according to our table, the mean was 78 and the standard deviation was 2. Now, that will give me an answer of minus 1. This means it's minus 1 standard deviations away from the mean. 
So we've got our normal distribution here. We know that the mean for French is 78. The student scored 76 and the question's asking, what's the probability the student scored more than 76? So what we're going to do is say, well, we require this region here and beyond. So now, if the student scores more than 76 on the French test, so what we're saying is we want this, all of this basically. So I know due to symmetry of the normal distribution that this is mu minus sigma. So due to symmetry, this must be mu plus sigma. So the area here is going to be 0 0.68. Now, in order to find out what this, this region here is and this region here is, I'm going to do 1 minus 0 0.68. That's going to give me 0 0.32 meaning both of the red regions is 0 0.32. So we're going to divide that by two, which is 0 0.16. So it means this is 0 0.16, and this is also 0 0.16. But what we want is, so if I draw another normal diagram here, what we want is the following, that the student has scored 76 and you're greater than that. So this little region here is 0 0.16. So in order to find the purple region, that's why we're going to do one minus 0 0.16, which is going to give me 0 0.84, which is the answer. And the last part. Lucy took both French test and a German test. Before she took the, these tests, she had the probability that she would score more than the mean in both tests is a half times a half. Comment on the validity of what Lucy has said for two marks. So what we can say is the calculation is unlikely. The calculation is unlikely to be valid. As it assumes, as it assumes that her score on the French test is independent of her score in the German test. Because there's a rule in probability that if two events A and B are independent, you can multiply their probabilities. But in this case, we cannot assume that. So um, it's very important in these questions that we do pay heed to what the examiner is asking. And that's it.